Hey everyone, Simon back here with my second video of the day. You're watching the Modern Awakened Perspective, your map for the path to enlightenment. And if you didn't see my first video, I'll tell you I'm wearing these sunglasses because I got scratched in the eye playing basketball a couple days ago. That's why I didn't make any videos yesterday. But uh, I like making the videos, so I'm back at it here for you today. And then my second video is a little update on what's going on with Jesse Smollett and his TV show Empire. Before I get into the story, I'll say everyone give me the thumbs up if you like this sort of content and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have, I do appreciate your support. And hit the little bell and you'll get notified when I put out new videos. All that helps people find this sort of content down the road as they go to search for it. So let me get into this video. Again, it's about Jesse Smollett and his TV show Empire. It seems Fox is renewing Jesse Smollett's TV show Empire for their sixth season, but without him or his character Jamal. The show is returning despite the fact that its ratings have been slipping substantially. The most interesting thing about this is that the studio has extended Smollett's contract even though they're saying there are no plans to bring his character back at this time. Now what does that mean? Uh, why extend his contract, basically? Uh, to me, this means one of two things. They are waiting to see how the civil case against Jesse plays out and whether the public outcry against him uh, is bad or, you know, if it's going to blow over. Meaning, would they face some backlash for bringing him back? And if, and if not, they will probably consider it and are leaving themselves with this option open. To me, that's pretty disgusting. They are only about the ratings and don't care about all his hate crime hoax and the hate crime letter that was sent to their particular studio even. Now the second option is are they extending his contract as a way to get him some more money? And is that a way to pay him off to keep him silent about something that he knows about? Now that may be a far reach in some of you guys opinion but this story has so many twists and turns I wouldn't be surprised by any of this uh, being the actual reality of it. Why else would they, you know, extend his contract if they weren't going to use him in the show? Pretty suspicious to me. Now, again, like I said, it doesn't make sense to extend this loser's contract if he's not going to be working with them anymore. Unless there's something else going on behind the scenes here. Now the letter sent to Fox, he did himself as a, you know, a hate crime letter and that's still being actually investigated I believe and could even lead to some federal charges against him, but I'm not holding my breath against that. Now maybe, maybe they're all in this together. Maybe Fox was in on the letter itself to help uh, bring some publicity. Who knows? You know. There's so much going on with the story, it's, it's hard to really know exactly what everyone's agenda is. But to me, none of this really makes sense. Why they'd bring the show back, despite its bad ratings, and then extend his contract with him not being in it, with no plans currently to have him back on the show. So I'd love to know what you guys think. Am I... Uh, getting too conspiracy minded with this or do you think that I'm on to something with this uh, either way the comment section is open as usual so please feel free to comment on on anything that uh, I've said and uh, you know we can get a discussion going and communicate about well, what's really going on with this is there something deeper to it but anyway that's the story from my perspective I'll see you guys tomorrow